Hello everyone, I am Alessandra Fusi and I am the illustrator of the book Dragon World, written by Tamara McFarlane and published by Decay. Today we're gonna draw together one of the dragons. We're gonna draw Ryujin, the Japanese dragon that lives under the ocean. We are gonna need some paper, a colored pencil, a normal pencil, a darker one, and maybe an eraser, just in case. We can start by drawing the basic shape of the dragon, which is like a snake, like this. Then we can draw a circle, which is gonna be the head, and then we can add like a shape like this. Like the lower part of his jaw, over here, then here, when the, when the circle meets the S, we can attach is here. It's gonna be like more or less a triangle. And we can make a line here, attaching his nose to his ear. Like this. And we can put his high ear. Yes, pupils like a cat. We can start drawing the rest of his body like this. Follow the line. And make it smaller and smaller and smaller until we reach the end. And here. But we're gonna have his tail. Then we can decide where to put his hands, like his arms. We can put them here, like his shoulders, here, and his legs more or less over here. So, let's draw one of his arms here, which is gonna be smaller because it's farther behind, and the other arm here. And at the end of the arm, we can draw like a circle, which is gonna be his hand holding his super precious jumps. And here we can attach his legs, like one leg, let's make it like this, yeah. One leg here, do not worry about being really precise at this stage. We are gonna refine everything later. And this other leg here. Now we can draw his hands, so his hand here is gonna, is gonna have his thumb facing this side, you can make like small circles, he has four fingers. And inside his hand we can put one of his gems, like draw an irregular shape, like this. And then this is the other hand. And the other end is gonna have like his fingers, one, two, three fingers and a thumb over here, like this, holding his jumps. Then we can add his belly, his belly is gonna be facing one side of his snake body, the belly is gonna be here and then it's gonna go behind here because we have his legs and it's gonna disappear over there. Then, what do we need? We need his horns, like big, squarely and long horns, one and the other, big horns. You can have a bit of the other here appearing from behind. Then let's refine his feet, like one, two, three, those. Now his belly is gonna be, it's gonna have all these segments following the movement of his body, like this. And on the other side of the belly, we're gonna have like his spiky, all these spikes going all through his body. They're gonna disappear here because they're going behind and then they're gonna reappear here. So like spikes following the middle of his body. Like 
like all, all along the center of his body over here. Spikes, spikes, spikes. And then in the end we have his fluffy tail, like you can draw like a drop shape, draw a line in the middle and draw like a little fluffy hair. We need to add, like let's make his smile longer, yeah, like this, let's add a couple of teeth and we need to add his moustache, so like one big swirly moustache on this side and another one on this other side. <laughs> then his bird over here. And now we can go to the next stage, which is refining everything with the darker pencil. So let's start from his bro here. If you want, you can add some of his scales because he's like, he's an underwater dragon so he has scales so you only have to draw some letter C here and there and you can also add some bubbles and some waves. And there you go, you're done. <laughs> Hope you had fun, bye.